Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with some more Disney Sorcerer's Arena, and we've unlocked two more of the dwarves from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, of course. So here is Happy. And then we also have Bashful here. I suppose we should also try to level these up a little bit um, before we get started. So I'm probably not going to try to use any of the pink runes, but I'll use the, the other two pretty... Pretty, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but I'll use them. But my suspicions are true that uh, all their moves are going to be fairly similar. They each have the pickaxe thing, and then um, like the icons all look the same if you're kind of just staring here. Other than their passives, I guess, that are different. But uh, I've played a bit of them just in the Snow White event so I've seen a little bit of it and the most frustrating thing to me is that it takes forever to go through some of their skills um, like even t in two times speed they're they, they take so long I don't know why so we're gonna be uh, who should we... We should bring in Hero. And then maybe we should bring in all of the dwarves. Just to kind of see it all in action. So, where is Sneezy at? Sneezy's also level 7, right? Maybe not. Oh, he is. He just is at a different star rank. And then I have both of them at 5. But Hero's kind of pointless to bring in. Well, I guess he, I can make him make someone go faster. So I guess that'll be my reasoning. Alright, so let's get started here. He is short as a kid, so I guess he kind of fits in with the group. It'd be very weird to have, like, Sean Yu standing amongst the seven dwarves, I feel. So who are we starting out with? Okay, so right away we get to dance a little bit. <laughs> I think Sneezy might have initiated that. Oh, we gotta take it off of auto. So he gets a sneeze, and then we might as well do the get to work. Grant's unstoppable for one teammate. Let's just give it to one of the, the newer ones. Um, Grumpy seems like a good attacker, but I also have him leveled up a bit, so maybe that's why. But just doing this will give me attack up, and also gave Bashful attack up, and Hero too. So first up we have Happy here. Grant this character defense up for one turn, and grant a copy of one helpful effect on this character to target teammates. The miners gain 30% speed meter. And then just a regular attack, inflict break up to a max of 7. Uh, so we can... What was this again? Defense up? Uh, yeah, we can do defense up. We could give it to this Bashful here because he took some damage. And Bashful must have started off with this because it's no longer available. But he has the grant 1 evasion to target teammate, which is pretty great. Up to a max of three of the miners. 35% uh, chance to grant one evasion to this character. Up to a max of three of the miners. Teammates gain 50% speed meter. So Bashful already is going to be one of my favorites, I think. Because I really like that uh, skill he has. What is this called? Off to work. I think it's called off to work for all of them, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll try to keep that in mind. That that is the name of that skill. Uh... Oh, well, I didn't necessarily mean to do that, but... So yeah, now we're just all attacking here. And like I said, it takes forever them to walk forward, and then all the way back. Most characters, like, jump forward and then jump back, and it doesn't take too long. But they just slowly walk up and slowly walk back. I'm kind of curious how long it would take someone to do it in one times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is crazy. So yeah, we're kind of just going one by one here, killing them all. Oh, oh, dang it. 
I wonder if their strength is going to be comparable in any way if I got them all the same level, or if some of them will have a stronger base move than others. It's hard to tell right now because they're all kind of at different levels. I suppose Happy and Bashful are pretty equal right now, so we could test that out. Uh, I don't really have a healer. I hope one of them ends up being a healing character. Maybe Snow White is. But that would be pretty useful. Um, so if I want to complete the Snow White event, I have to get them all to star level 8. Or sorry, uh, what is it, rank 8? Gear tier level 8? I even forget the name of it, but... Um, hopefully at that point they're actually good, but I was going to try to do a wild team. I believe everyone in the Snow White group is a wild, so they would just end up being my wild team, I guess. But I don't know how they're good they're going to be. Like, honestly, I don't know if I care for them right now. But you've yet to see a team of all five uh, of them, and then at that point you can just pick out which characters you like the best, and if you don't like a specific skill of a character, you can leave that out. But it's honestly kind of hard to remember which character does what. Um, like, Sneezy specifically grants Unstoppable for one teammate. Like, I would be okay with leaving that behind, but I do like the Sneeze ability. Which I guess the next round we should look at their passives too, because I didn't look at that. But that's like the one thing that's unique about each of the characters. Other than the off-to-work boost that each character has. So I, I doubt we're going to win this. <laughs> Which is not a good sign for... Oh jeez, Grumpy just got mad at <laughs> Sneezy. <laughs> yeah, well, there's no way we're going to win this. Um, so having four miners here... I hate saying that, <laughs> having four of the dwarves here... <laughs> did not work out too great. I know they're not leveled up all that much. But... I suppose if we even brought in like Hades or something, we probably would have done fine. I'm just going to forfeit now, because we're not really getting a lot of the showcase of Happy and Bashful specifically. So let's go back to an easier one. Maybe this one will be more possible. Alright, so let's just start here. So yeah, I'll try to look at their passives too, because I didn't really look at that the first time. And we start off with that, which I, I'm not sure exactly who did that, but let's have Bashful go right now. So his passive is, oh gosh, on start turn, my last character has stealth, gain one guaranteed crit. When this character crits, break one, inf inflict one break up to max of seven. Is that crit? I forget. No, it's just offense up. He also has Yodalehi, who, okay, that might have been what happened. The start of the battle, grant bonus 10% evasion to all minor teammates. Well, no one has evasion, so I don't know about that. On a, the miner's teammate, receiving vulnerable 30% chance to cleanse it. Okay, so let's just uh, do this one. We'll give it to Happy. So there's evasion. I don't even know if we saw that last time, but... Grumpy's... Oh, well, I guess you don't really need to look at this, but it might be helpful to... So yeah, Grumpy seems like a good attacker. I'm probably going to keep Grumpy on my team at all times, because I really need to get some damage done. <laughs> Sneezy here also does some damage too. On turn start, he can do the It's Coming skill, but... It also has a charge up, which I didn't realize passes even had, but... Yeah, we can do this. Give it to Grumpy. And then... Okay, so the passive, something to cook in on uh, the miner's teammate, gaining a helpful effect. This character has 20% chance to gain that effect. So basically he can just get something based on someone else getting something. So you might as well not apply any of the helpful effects to Happy because he might just get it. So he also has the Olehi who they might all have it. I honestly wasn't looking that hard. Okay, so now I guess we just start attacking. Yeah, so they all have the Yodalehi who... So the more you have, I guess, the better it's going to be. 
Although the thing that happens with their Yole Hihu might be different too. Didn't really look into that. But yeah, when when uh, Grumpy crits, that's very helpful. It does a pretty good amount of damage. Let me see. 30% chance crit, 30% bonus crit chance. I gotta see if that's the same on everybody. That's different. Oh, but that's that's something completely different. Interesting. So Grumpy gets angry sometimes and attacks. I think that might be his passive thing. Dang it. We almost got him. We gave him that. What is that? Goon? See, 5% additional damage. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Other than I sat on myself last round. So Sean Yu just immediately coming in and trying to kill Grumpy, but that's good because he attacked back. Uh, I don't even remember what that is, but I'm not going to take the time to look. Okay, that is very helpful. What is Happy's on this again? Grant defense up. Grant a copy, one helpful effect. Okay, so when I had evasion, I remember I gave it to him. So that was good. Yeah, we should definitely try to get rid of Sean Yu if we can. Well... Uh, let's have Bashful go, I guess. Okay, that was a pretty good amount of damage. Oh, he's got the attack up. I don't think I even noticed. Although I think I gave it to him. <laughs> I, I'm all over the place. I'm having such a hard time trying to keep up with all of them. I know people say, like, they have such distinct personalities. How can you not tell? But, like, they look just similar enough. And all their skill icons are exactly the same. <laughs> can you blame me for getting confused sometimes? Uh, we did lose one of them, unfortunately. We lost Bashful. But we did get the, the happy tokens, that's good. Uh, yeah, I don't know, that, they're taking a while, I didn't want to do another one. <laughs> I'm still very iffy on what I think of the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves characters. Honestly. Missed it. Um... I don't think I like that they all have the same skill. I imagine it's much easier trying to develop it. But yeah, it gets so confusing in the midst of battle, like I'm constantly having to look at which character's doing what, you know? I don't think that's all that fun. Uh, and trying to make like a team out of it, I suppose eventually you might get the hang of it. Uh, but even like sometimes, just looking at the backs of them, like you're gonna get sneezy and happy, confused. Like their hat colors are pretty much the same, even Doc too. It's like, just looking at them from the back, it's going to be hard to tell. Obviously, Dopey's going to stand out. Um, Grumpy's got that very specific uh, colored hat, you know. There are some differences where it's easier to tell the who's who. Like, I'm, I'm knowing what Grumpy does the best right now. Uh, but as the other ones are all coming in, it's just getting all uh, jumbled together. But hopefully I'll figure it out. And let me know what you guys think of it. I'm still unsure. But I will continue to showcase these. Next up will probably be uh, Sleepy and Dopey, but we'll see. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.